Hey, everybody. Heck yours. Oh my gosh, that is a heck of a blizzard. Anyway, welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper, Season 1, Episode 32. I can barely hear myself think. That's okay. It's almost day, daytime. Let's take a peek outside, just see how bad it is. And, uh, I'm gonna start... Yeah, it looks pretty horrible. Negative 56 degrees Fahrenheit. And, uh, let's see here. Cabin fever risk. Yeah, it's starting to go up. But that's okay. We are going to, uh, just spend some time indoors because we don't really have another choice. We could go out to the, uh, fishing hut if I could find it. The question is, could I actually find it? And the answer is, I'm not sure. Let me turn down the volume here in my headset so I can actually hear you guys. Anyway, after the storm clears here, I think we're going to start gearing up uh, to get the uh, well-fed bonus so we can make the trek to Pleasant Valley and uh, go get some of the supplies that we left behind there. I left behind there, not you guys. I'll take, uh, I'll take the blame for that, that I left behind. And uh, maybe while we're there, we'll go do some hunting for some uh, birch sapling locations and uh, go from there. There should be a new building also somewhere around the map. But uh, it's all going to be very weather dependent. But uh, the main thing is going up there and getting uh, the matches back and some of those other items that we left behind. So I'm going to try to travel a little bit light. Um, I don't think I really need a whole heck of a lot to carry with me. Just some food and some basic provisions. Uh, my clothing does weigh enough already. You know, I'm going to take my bow and arrow, obviously. Some matches, probably don't need to carry all of them. Maybe nine will be plenty because we're going to get there soon enough. I couldn't see getting stranded that long. And uh, I'll get rid of the this uh, antiseptic. That's going to free up a little bit of weight as well. So anyway, let's take a look here, see if I can do any repairs. Oh, it's probably too... Eh, it's probably not dark enough. Okay, we can probably do repairs if need be. Let's see here. On the uh, deerskin boots, should I do a repair there? Um, we should have a cured I think we just need cured leather and I don't know if I can see that anywhere we got cloth down here maybe it's in here let's take a look because it's, it's hard to no that's cloth there we go cured leather oh, I already had one on me okay I probably could have done it just what I had I didn't even look yeah let's go ahead and uh, oh, repair this starving oh you need a deer hide okay well I know exactly where to find that oh that's fresh where's cured uh, we know, I know we have them around here somewhere. We got deer hides around here somewhere. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to bring out the old uh, lantern here. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Really, I don't have one? I don't really want to move that because then I'll have to move all this other stuff around. It's not a huge deal if we don't have one. What's this? Let's grab that cured leather and put that where it should be. We'll move this crow feather up here for the time being. I think I actually have feathers in here. Hold on. Yeah, let's let's move this over here. I'll just take one of those with me. Three cloth, that's fine. We'll find more there at the house. I'm sure that there's plenty that we haven't actually torn apart in the uh, farmer farm homestead um, house. Well, we're actually out of room. That's the problem there. Crow feathers, can I put six of them in there? Uh, nope. I can put a few, but not six. I can put two in there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this light here. Save that for later. All right. Um... Oh, what the heck. I'll just drop the feathers here, I guess. Alright. Good enough. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Wow, that doesn't... That's, like, really well blended in. It's gonna be hard to see. Better move these over. Otherwise, I'll never see them. Fine. Fine. I'll put them up here for now. All right. Cured gut. We'll move that somewhere over here. I can reach his feather. Yeah, give me a spot. 
Oh, don't make me beg, beg for it. There we go. What about our rabbit skin stuff? We definitely have plenty of rabbit skin stuff. The hat. I could repair it up, I guess. Rabbit pelts are definitely not something that's really scarce, so... I say we go ahead and do that, and we need a cured gut. Okay, let's do that. That's a fresh one. Let's see if we can get this repaired. Oh, it failed. Well, did it use my gut? I think it did. Yeah, it used the gut and the rabbit pelt. That sucks. Okay. All right, let's try again. <laughs> I had a 85% chance of success here. Wow. All right, I'm going to run out there. Hopefully the storm's died down a little bit. And if I have to stay in here and read, that's fine. I'll do that. Uh, I do have some books down in here I can read. I should, don't I? I thought I did. There they are. Nope, not that one. There they are, the sewing books. So, take that with me. Make sure that I can actually read that. I'm pretty sure I can. I don't think I've touched that one yet. Use Oh, four out of five hours research. Oh, okay. And I have a little bit of food on board. Uh, let's eat a little bit of something else here while we're at it. Because remember, we need to keep our calories above zero for, for a little bit of time here. So I'm going to eat some bear meat here. I think I'll... Ooh, it's cold. Uh, I'm not too worried about getting the... Uh, getting the affliction because then I just have to stay outside for 24 hours. Um, and if I do, it's 1% per hour, assuming that that's the only ailment that I have, the fatigue. So literally, you just stay outside and, and eat 24% condition loss, and then the cabin fever uh, disappears. But you're not even doing 24% because you should be awake for a good 12 hours of that at least. So really, it should just be 12%. All right, not much, but let's go ahead and eat while we can. As long as it's cooked, we should be good. It doesn't matter if I cooked it before or after I got the cooking leveled up. Uh, you would think that the stuff that you cooked before you leveled up the cooking uh, would still get you sick. But uh, that's not the way it works. So. Negative 44. Okay, I'm going to go out here and read. Come on here. Let's just get going here. I'm obviously not going to travel in this weather, but what I will do is I'll hang out here. Wow. I'll hang out over here. Make a fire if I have to. We can hang out in here. Negative 18 degrees. Uh, do I want to make a fire? Part of me wants to go get some firewood, but I know that's not going to happen. Oh, well. You know what? I think I think what I'll do is I'll just... Let me grab some meat, and we'll head back inside. This pack is getting kind of heavy. I really don't want to use a match, even though we're going to get a lot of matches. I don't want to get... Just because I know I'm about to get a bunch of matches doesn't mean that I'm just going to start using them uh, freely and waste them for no particular reason. Because I'm, I'm just going to eat the cabin fever and deal with it. I'm going to die if I don't warm up soon. Uh, hypothermia risk, sprain risk, no, no big deal there. So I can actually just leave this meat on the floor. It's not going to hurt anything. But I am going to go ahead and eat. And stay well fed for the next three days to prepare for the trip. Which should make a lot of people in the comments very happy. All right, there we go. So that's a little bit of something in our, in our tummies there. 1,400 calories. And uh, let's go ahead and read that last chapter of the book. I stubbed my toe today. My uh, middle... Ah, oh, man, it hurts. 
on my right foot, the middle toe, and uh, I'm pretty sure I might have broken it. <laughs> it's sort of numb now. It looks like it might start bruising, and uh, it's it's sort of achy. Not really where the toe is, but up the joint further, closer to the middle of my foot. But the same bone structure that goes down to the toe. So, yeah, I kind of just... I think my ta I think my big big middle toes or my uh, my middle right toes gone into shock. Uh, it <laughs> kind of feels like that. Anyway, ah, oh, mending's gone up to level three. Yeah, let's see what that means for us. Mending. Okay, seventy five percent chance of successful repair. Repair time decreased by fifteen percent. Ten percent greater item condition increase. I like that. That's nice, especially. So and then we'll go for level four. Let's go and grab the other book. Uh, we're done with that one, so we can drop this here. That is now firewood, or fire book. And uh, throw that up there with the, the collection for the community. There, that's, this is our little community library that I have going on here. Alright, let me see here, just make sure that I'm not going to run into any ailments. Let's do a couple hours here on this, just a couple hours at a time. Hopefully the storm lifts here soon. And we'll take a look at the cabin fever. It should be interesting. Let's see where it's at right now. Uh, let's see here. 59%. Yeah, it's getting up there. All right, this will be fun. We'll, we'll eat the cabin fever. We're going to be all right, though. Let's see here. Let's do another. Let's do another hour. Let's just do hour at a time. And there goes the end of the storm. Okay, let's take a peek outside. See what it looks like. I would like to go get some firewood. If that is possible. 15 degrees. That's not bad, really. And uh, no, no direct sunlight, unfortunately. Let's see if we can go get some firewood real quick. Just be careful because the bear does like to wander up this away. Alright, it should, it should have respawned over here. Quick drink. I try to hunt the bear at the, uh, Oh, do we have we have direct sun? So now we can do a little uh, fire here next to. The, oh, if we get a free fire here, okay. Magnifying lens. Let's just use sticks. We got plenty of them. And that should keep us at 15 degrees. We should be able to get a warm enough fire using sticks to uh, keep us going. There we go. I might take this fire into the uh, fishing hut for the night. Perfect. Yeah, I think we might do that. Uh, let's go ahead and add some fuel. We might just do some fishing tonight. Okay, let's see how warm this fire is getting here. Make sure it gets warm enough to keep us warm. Yeah, it should. A couple more degrees and we should be good. As long as it doesn't, the temperature doesn't drop suddenly, we should be all right. Let's go and chop this thing up. There we go. Still got 40 minutes left on that bad boy. 39 degrees. We're actually warming up. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take take the torch from here, and we'll go over here and make another fire for this piece of wood. Actually, I'll just reuse this one right here. I wonder if it's close enough. It doesn't really look like it's close enough. I'm just gonna make another one. Let me just make another. I got a, I got fires everywhere around here. There we go. Okay, magnifying lens. Nope, we don't need to do that. We can just use our torch, and we'll use sticks again. I'm gonna go grab these other sticks that are sitting nearby as well, and we'll chop up this piece of wood. 
Come on, little fire. Come on. So at least we won't freeze to death when we're out here. I mean, we do have plenty of, uh, let me put that out, holster that, add a couple sticks here. Should be good enough, given how my fire starting skill keeps things going a little bit better. I get increased burn time, etc., etc. Is that it? There's normally more than that. Anything right now. Oh, that's really all this. Oh, no, there's a couple. One more stick over here, at least. Is that it? Okay. All right, fair enough. Could go down there and chop up a lot of pallets, too, at the same time. So, let's see here. We got 12 degree fire going, 36 degrees. We'll take it. Wonderful. 20 minutes left. Perfect. All right, let's take that. And let's go do some... Uh, there should be another. Is there another one down here? Yeah, I see another one down here. We're gonna go get that next to the car here. Let's go get that one. Man, all I can think about is food. All right, five more sticks. Good enough. Where's our limit? Here it is. I think I'll put the fire over this way. If the threat's gonna come for me, uh, it should keep a threat away in any anyway, since it's so close to me. But if any, if it's gonna come for me anyway. It's gonna be up in this area, I think. So let's go and start this fire. Actually, it turned out to be a pretty nice evening. Pretty shocked. There we go. Perfect. Distinguish that. We could have probably thrown it away. I think we're carrying around a bunch of those now. There we go. And I need to eat again. I don't have anything to eat. Let me run down here and grab a little something something. Real quick. I'll be right back. We'll take about a second. Now I gotta remember to stay. Keep food on board this whole time. Now, people were like, you know, you could get a well fed bonus. Yeah, I don't really need it when I'm wandering around this area here. It's not a big deal. But when I do go, you know, onto another, into another region to go collect things or to go do something, yeah, then it, then it becomes sort of uh, a nice thing to have. But for just wandering around the home region, it's not that big a deal, honestly. Especially one as flat as this, because the sprain risk is non-existent in most places here. At least down where I, where I do my walking around, where I do my walkabouts. Looking for that big one. Rabbit, 58 calories. <laughs> They're all tiny. <laughs> all right, let's just eat. There we go. It's going to take a little while to get my fill here. But that's okay. It definitely was worth it and helped us get our cooking skill level up quickly, so I'm okay. I can be patient when it comes to having to eat slowly here. Okay, good enough. I think I'll drop what else I got here, the other stuff that I have. Okay, good enough. All right, let's head on back. I'll get a drink here when I get to the fire. Ah, 
Got some feathers over here. Might need those later. Might as well grab them real quick. Can always farm those feathers. Falling out that limb. That's what I'm doing. I'm falling it out. I hear it. The sound of warmth. Oh, there's another stick right here, actually. Alright, there we go. How much time we got left here? 43. We'll add a couple more. Just to play it safe. Uh, sticks, there we go. There we go. All right. Uh-oh. Don't blow out on me. All right. I want my torch out of here because I'm going to go seek shelter in the... That was a good torch, actually. Pulled a good one. I'm going to go seek shelter in the uh, fishing hut if I can. Uh-oh. 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 Do we have still have direct sunlight? I don't know. Throw it. Throw it. Get rid of it. Oh, don't... Oh, no, don't do that. Did I just use up a bunch of matches doing that? No, I didn't. Okay. I don't think I did. So cold. So cold. Boy, if I did that, that would suck. It's not... I mean... Maybe I did. <laughs> I don't remember. I'll have to go back and look. Oh, shoot. Tired. Right about the time you'd say, oh, let me get my drink here. Uh, luckily, I'm not carrying anything nasty, but the wind is going towards him, so he probably would be able to smell me. But that's my bear over there. I've done this rhyme before. It's all right. It's my Kevin fever, 47. Yeah, it's it's really hard to predict the way it works. I think he's gonna leave me alone for the most part. I don't think he wants a piece of me. He knows what happens. The ghosts of his uh, ancestors have told him, "Don't mess with this guy. Don't mess." Ooh, that's is that new music? No. All right. Well, let's get on inside and get warm. We're going to sleep well tonight. And we're going to have a full belly. Full of his meat right there. I should have plenty of water, too. Yeah, I'm good on water. I'll grab one more just for good measure. Eat a couple more of these real quick. Just to top off. All right. Probably drink that tea and wake up 100% condition. Oh, it feels like one degree. It really doesn't matter now. Is he stuck on the... Is he stuck on the tree there a little bit? I don't know. I think he, I think he worked his way off of it. Well, at least we know there's not going to be a bear coming right through here. That is a positive. Okay. All right, let's head on inside. And uh, yeah, pretty good. Ah, it's too bad that torch went out. I was going to go out and do some fishing all night long, but I guess it doesn't matter. We're pretty tired anyway, so uh, we're, we have plenty of food. I'm going to top up on drink here. You know, I don't think, since I'm going to be hanging around here, let me see here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to sleep without using any tea. Save that tea for emergency purposes for those times. So let's go ahead and let's get ourselves a 10 hours of sleep here. See you guys in the morning early, early morning. 
waiting to see that cabin fever. We've got the cabin fever. If it is, no big deal. We got plenty of wood. I am going to drop the wood out there. I am rolling real heavy right now. So, well, actually not as heavy as I thought it was. But we have 10 pieces of, of good wood. And then we have uh, this reclaimed oh, wood. And a lot of coal out there. And we got everything we need. I could drop these, obviously. But uh, it's almost morning. Let's get her something to drink. She's got plenty of food. 1,600 calories. So, yeah, not bad. 90% condition, I'd say. Do I have my pistol? Yeah, I do have my flare gun out. All right. Look both ways before crossing the road here. Looks cold. Looks cold out here. All right, that just kind of freaked me out. I don't know what that was, but... All right. Temperature's negative 29 degrees. Man, that is cold. I think I'm going to wait until, until morning, until the sun comes up, and see if I can get a free fire. So we'll probably just hang out inside here. Um, I can definitely read a book once the sun comes up a little bit more. Not a whole lot I can do in here now except break it down furniture, but I don't have anything to break down. So, yeah, let's just hang out in here until the sun comes up uh, about halfway. Once the sun's about halfway up, then you can start doing the day that requires light activities. So I think what we'll do here is just pass time for an hour. As much as I hate doing that. Yeah, we should be good now. Let's see if we can actually let's see if we can actually uh, do some reading. Try to read that book. I'm carrying around here. Did I drop it? Did I drop it? I think I dropped it in the where did I put it? Did I put it in here? Yes, I did. All right. I got some extra feathers, too, to drop off. Okay. Let's see if I can do an hour. Yep, it'll let me. Good. Yeah, let's do another hour. And we'll see what the sunlight situation looks like. I don't want to have a, an hour of sunlight go by and squander it only to have it get foggy again. It looks <laughs> it looks like it's foggy. Hopefully this burns off and uh, then we get some direct sunlight here soon. Let's go spend another hour reading the last chapter of the book here. Nope. Did I read it all? Did I really? Oh, I thought I, I thought I still had another chapter to go. Let's take a look here. Mending, I guess we did. Okay. So that, that book's done. Turned it into fire starting material, which we don't need anymore, but there we go. We got quite the little library going on here. Hey, you know what? I have a book in here that is just honestly just taking up space. Uh, we could be throwing feathers in there and keeping them all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Here, let's get rid of these feathers. Let's put this cured gut somewhere a little more suitable for guts there we go try to try to get a little bit more organized here and drop this and put this up here there we go all right there we go library is a little more orderly at this point i don't have a dewey decibel system or anything like that but it's the best i can do for now okay so arrowhead arrow shaft i really don't need either of those right now um I have old man. I had the wound dressing, so I can get rid of this. Will it fit? It should. Yeah. Okay. And then I can get rid of my feathers for now. We'll craft. We got some arrows. We got a few arrows. Um, I can. Oh, and I got way too many torches, so we can drop some of those too. Let's see where those feathers go. There we are. I refuse to. There we go. All right. I was gonna say I was gonna refuse to use this over here. I want to try to find it where they're all stacked together and tough to see. Okay. So, let's get ourselves another drink here. Man, she has got to be loving life. She's like, what did I do to deserve this good treatment that you're suddenly giving me? Um, yeah, I'm going to drop this here. I want to drop a few of these other ones here that we're carrying. Down here? Nope. There. 
35. We don't want the 11. 20, 35, 39. I'll drop that one. There we go. We have one. Make that two, two torches. Pretty good. Moderate and pretty good condition torches. Uh, probably a little overkill. Probably don't need two of them, honestly. Yeah, we'll just drop this one. We're trying to cut weight. We might as well, right? Uh, I'm going to keep the pry bar with me because I don't know if we end up going to one of these new locations that's been added in the stead, uh, Steadfast update. I don't know if they're going to have something like a locker or something that needs uh, a crowbar. And uh, if I don't take it with me, I, it almost guarantees the fact that it, uh, I would need it. So I'm going to take that with me. Here. Probably don't need to carry the three cloth around with me either. I'm just sort of pre-preparing for the uh, trip. I know I'm not going to make it today, but uh, just sort of pre-preparing it. Um, and then we're going to drop a lot of this wood outside. So let's go outside and see if we got direct sunlight yet. Nope, still no direct sunlight. Let's uh, let's ditch our wood. Negative 8 degrees. Let's ditch our wood over here. I gotta be careful about running because you actually burn through calories three times, two to three times faster when you're running around. And uh, I'm not used to actually having calories on board to worry about. Normally it's zero calories, so I don't lose anything. Can't go into the negatives. So uh, typically I don't have to worry about that, but I need to stop doing that because I'm just burning through the calories needlessly. Okay, let's see here. Oops. Let's drop that here. Six sticks is not an obscene amount to carry around. Let's drop all those. Move over slightly. Drop all these. And let's just move over here and drop these coals as well. There we go. Alright, and I don't need these tinder bugs. We can put these back here for the hapless survivor that comes upon this hut. Who doesn't have the fire starting skill that I have? At this point, 52 pounds. Look at that. Not too bad. What's it like in here? Negative seven. Not much of a help. It's just cold, is what it is. It's just, just cold. Okay. What do I have in here? Oh, ruined torch. Isn't that supposed to disappear? It's ruined. Shouldn't it just disappear? I wonder if, if I bring it back and I put it back in there, if it'll now disappear. Let's see. No, it refuses. Oh, because you can break it down into tinder. It still has usefulness. Okay. Or not tinder. You can break it down into a stick. All right, I'm just going to drop this over here then. That's why, because it still has a useful... So you can break it down into a stick. So I'm just going to drop it there. Don't really need it. All right, you guys want to have some venison today? I think we'll go for that. Yeah, let's get back inside. She's about to get hypothermia again. Let's go hypothermic on us. Got to be careful coming up over this hill, trying to look up oh, there, see if I can see any... Bears wandering around. Okay. Coast is clear so far. See how the cabin fever is doing. 51%. Okay. Warm up for an hour, then we'll go outside and hang out for a little bit. Hopefully, well, hopefully in an hour I got direct sunlight. Then I'll go break up some pallets, I think. Yeah, two and a half hours of that would get me 16, which is eight hours of burn time. Uh, but a little bit more than that because, the, again, the fire starting skill that I get, a bonus on my burn times. So that'll be well worth it. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat. Not bad. Tastes pretty good. Let's go ahead and eat that 39 calorie. A little bit, bit of meat. Only thing that's going to do is attract wolves. Okay. So there we go. And we'll drink. Okay. Well, I'll just... Um, hmm. I've read the books. Don't really have anything else I can... Could heal these up. Nah, they're still a little bit high. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave these until they get down to 70%, both of them. So I'm not in it. 
huge hurry to get those mended. I'd rather get more duration out of them. A little bit extra time. Okay, so let's just, uh, do I want to sleep? That's the question. Am I going to stay out all night? I don't, I don't know. I think I'll just rest because I want to be tired again at night. Yeah, I think we'll just, we'll just rest. We're not in any big hurry to do anything. We're just trying to get that well-fed bonus before we even think about leaving. And maybe do a little bit of fishing. Ideally, I'd like to get a free fire for that. Ooh, we got it. I think we got it. Just be careful. Make sure I don't get eaten by a bear. Just because I'm excited. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Alright, guys. It's a little too windy, I think, to try to get a fire going to break up pallets. Well, maybe that would be a good choice. I could break up pallets first. And then put the fire, or put the uh, wind block, the fire between the two cabins back here. Yeah, I think we'll do that. If I put it, if I put the fire, like, is it, is it protect me? No. If I put the fire here, it is protected from the wind. Now, can I reach the pallets from here? Not be in the wind? Not really. Is there a better place for the pallets? I could put a fire behind that tree, but that's not much cover. And the bear could come along. And I think if, if, if you're time-lapsing, the bear won't bother you. But... I could put it back here, maybe. Eh, that won't work either. Well, we can try it. What the heck? The worst that can happen is we're not going to get a fire going. Was it not going to let me put one here? Oh, that would make it difference too. Okay, well that's going to get blown out too quickly. No wind block there. Alright, I think I think we're just going to go for it up here. Should be fine. Where's the wind block? Okay, as long as the wind doesn't shift in the next two and a half hours, we're going to be alright. Someplace to escape this cold. All right. I'm going to add a couple sticks and I'm going to run down and grab a couple more by the fishing hut. Oh, actually, I have a... Come on, fire. Come I think on. I have a reclaimed wood or something out in front of the cabin. Double check. I'll, I'll, need, I'll need at least an hour and a half to two hours of burn time. Though, so, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Now hopefully that wind doesn't shift. And I think... Am I getting a warmth bonus off of this thing? Uh, Not really. No. I'm not. I'm not getting a warmth bonus. So what we'll do is we'll take a torch from there and just go fishing. Hurry up before it burns out. Doesn't matter, I guess I can use the magnifying lens inside since the sun's still out. Okay, let's just do some fishing then. Alright. Yeah, it cost me about six sticks, no big deal. I use the torch instead of the uh, magnifying lens because I have a better chance of starting a fire. Not that that made a difference there a second ago, but... On the fire. Let's see if we can catch some big cohos or something. Oh, Alright. Alright, let's get this going here. Um, I think how I want to do this. I think I'm going to let this... Let's see, what's the temp out here now? 16. I do need to add something to make it hotter. There we go. That should help out quite a bit, actually. I think that'll get us over 32 degrees. At least until we can add coal. We're going to add one coal to this. And then we'll... Oh, you're kidding me. 31. All right, we'll add a stick. Our last stick. There we go. That puts us over. So at least we're warming up now. 
no longer taking a condition hit. Where's our bear at? Is he out here? No, not really. We gotta take one of this, uh, one of these things. A couple reclaimed woods. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we'll just wait until we're ready for that. In the meantime, I don't really have anything I could cook, but what I could do is I could get some more water going. I know we have plenty of water, but uh, never hurts, right? So, yeah, we can cook that up. And while that's cooking, let's just go ahead and uh, bust up the ice. There we go. And we should have enough time. Maybe we'll get the coal on. Let's see. Okay, there we go. That should shoot the temperature up very nicely, as you can see. A couple hours. Let's do another couple pieces of reclaimed wood. All right, that's good. Let's put the flare away. I don't know why that came out, but there it is. Temperature's 84 degrees in here, so that's nice and toasty. And we're just going to get low here. Maybe do two hours of fishing. Let's try that. All right. 239 calories. Not much, but it is something. Ah, Coho. 1,200 calories. Like that. Oh, you know what? Did we lose our water? We did. That was my fault. <laughs> Forgot about it. I was doing two hours. Probably better to do two hours. But it is what it is. Window trout. Our fishing went up to level three. That's nice. How are we doing over here? 22 minutes until boiled. Oh. All right, let's just do a little bit of fishing. There we go. Just gonna drink that. Nice potable. Oh, I hear the bear. You guys think I should go? Oh, he's right there. He's right there. I think I take a shot at him. What do you think? Oh, he ran away. I didn't even hit him with anything. Okay. I guess I am kind of awesome. <laughs> At least Astrid is, right? <laughs> I don't know about me. But, uh, yeah, good for you, Astrid. He smells the... I think he smells the fish. Right in the gut. He's gut shot. Gut shot. Well, let's take a quick look here. See how many bears we have. Bears killed two. Okay, so when that turns to three, we know he's down. And he's running all the way over there. Interesting. 17 minutes until boiled. How's a gut shot, man? Uh, I kind of feel bad for him. Well, we'll see what happens there. He's still running. Uh, I see. I think I see him walking over here. Yeah, I do. Okay. What's our temp here? Still seventy-nine degrees. Still seventy-one. See if we can get another arrow into him. Help hasten the uh, the suffering. I think I got him there. Uh oh. Okay. Hard to see him. Well, not what I was planning on, but we'll take it. I wish it would have been a little bit clearer. Pretty sure that that last arrow did get into him. It's okay. I think he's going to drop pretty soon. That'll give us a huge amount of meat. And we'll just do big steaks on him. No need to do small steaks anymore. So we can cook up uh, some of this, though. Let's cook up that coho first.
He's got three in him. There's one in his belly. There's one in the side I just saw. And then I just put another one into him. He won't last much longer. I think he's coming by because of this fish smell. I think that's what's drawing him over here. That stinky fish smell. Uh, that's why he's getting so close. Which is fine. If he wants to stand over here and die, um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So I'll let him come on back. Let's take a look here. Still two. 18 minutes until burn. Let's not do that. Makes me not really want to cook these for the time being. Makes me just want to kind of hold them. I think that's what I'm going to do for the time being. Maybe draw them back. Let's see if I can, I if I can drop get super face. stinky again. There we go. I got three stink lines. Maybe that'll draw him back so he hangs out here until he dies. And then that would be perfect. Um, in the meantime, I guess we can do more water. All right. How are we doing here? An hour and 14? That's fine. Well, let's do another hour of fishing. Maybe he'll come back. Oh, another... Oh, 1,500 calories. Take that. 22 minutes until boiled. 43 minutes. Need another hour, but I think I'm going to uh, play it safe and... Oh, I'm out of arrows. <laughs> That's all right. We'll have to definitely find his body just to get the arrows back. That's okay. That's okay. I can manufacture another arrow, actually. I got plenty of uh, resources to do so. I just need to find a suitable day, because it takes like an hour and a half to actually manufacture it. 15 minutes until boiled. Hmm. Well, let's just fish for 15 then. Not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. How are we doing on water? Yeah, not too bad. I think let's check on the bear. He might be he might be I think he's I think he's down now. Since he didn't come back. Still two. Okay. Fair enough. Not sure where he's at. It's kinda dangerous, but we do have the flare gun. So She's starting to get a little tired. And we still have uh two hours and six minutes. Let's do a... Uh, don't really need to cook the fish anymore. So, But I do need to eat. Just going to eat this meat here. Before I screw up and let myself go hungry. Nasty blizzard. Okay. Let's do another batch of water. Another hour of fishing. I think he ran off. I don't think he wants to come back here anymore. Wait two minutes until boiled. Alright, I think I'm just going to, uh, hour and 13. I can do another batch. Yeah, we should have enough time to make it potable. Let's just do a full hour here. I can barely walk with this much gear. 23 minutes again. new fishing skill hasn't really done a whole lot. I did. I guess I did get that 1500 uh, calorie coho. Okay, so I think it's time to move in. Um, I'm gonna peek my head out here real quick. Do I have a... I have another arrow. Okay. I thought I was out of arrows. That's, that's good. There. Let me uh, throw down some of these meats. a couple fishies. And some of this water. There we 
There we go. All right. Feel a little bit lighter on my feet. 21 minutes. Yeah. I'm happy. Let's head on in. We're pretty tired. Let's just be careful here. Who knows where this bear is? He's not very predictable right now. He's probably pretty angry at me. And if he comes at me, I'm gonna spit fire at him. Oh, this cold is making my head feel thick. He's having a bad day. He is having a bad day. I was hoping I'd see him like falling down right here, but nope. Not that lucky in this episode. Sometimes I get lucky, not this time. Hypothermia cured already. get our drink and I think we're ready to get some sleep I'm looking here at the clock I'm probably gonna end this episode here not too bad we've read uh, leveled up uh, our mending we leveled up our fishing I want to see what the ice fishing's at now it's level three so that means fishing time reduced by 10% 5% uh, chance of line break on catch so it's getting lower I wonder what happens at five I guess I could wiki that but I wonder if you have like zero percent chance or maybe it's just one percent chance of line break that would be ultimate, right? Yeah. That'd be pretty good. Right, let's see what's going on here. See if we got an update on the, the bear. Where's that? Bear got three. So he is down somewhere. He is down somewhere. The question is, where? So we will check for that in the next episode. That leaves us uh, something exciting to do. Hopefully it's not way back near his cave past a bunch of wolves if that is the case we might have to take one out with our arrow uh, rinse and reuse and sort of do that thing we'll probably have to use decoys uh, hopefully somewhere close close by seems like he was kind of loitering around this area so that's good hopefully he didn't decide right at the very end to take off but I'm gonna get my three arrows back and get another hide curing before we head on over to Pleasant Valley by the time we come back We'll have another bear hide going and what I'm thinking is that we can go ahead and make ourselves a little bear bedroll because we need two bear hides we have one already cured on the floor right at my feet and we need five cloths and six cured guts which should not be an issue at all so I think maybe I have another bear hide already curing in one of the other cabins but if I don't we're gonna have an extra one either way and we'll need that um, you could always do a bearskin coat What do you guys think? Should I uh, go with a wolfskin coat with a bearskin coat over top? Or should I start aiming for the bearskin bedroll? Which one should I go for? That's 11 pounds. That's 6 pounds. Even though this one takes more resources. This one weighs more. Hmm. Probably because I'm wearing his head. Looks like you're supposed to take his head with you. Okay. So, alright. Moose hide cloak. Yeah. It's not quite as good as these. Uh, the wolf skin coat and the bear skin coat. I'd rather make a satchel out of moose hide if I had one to use. Might have to try to find a moose to bring down as well, but I'd like to have more arrows to do that before we get going down that road. All right, well, we're nice and tired, and uh, yeah, we're going to get a really good sleep here. We do have plenty of food, yes, plenty of drink. Let's get, to get a little bit more drink, because you always wake up thirsty after 10 hours. Just at the very end is when you get it, so... All right, let's go get some more sleep, and we should be uh, close to 100% condition. We should be 100% condition when we wake up. So I'll see you guys in the morning here. Oh, yeah, no problem. We'll be 100%, no doubt. So hopefully it's a good calm. Shh, shh, shh. No wind. Go away. 75 days, 19 hours, 16 minutes. I, why am I crouching down? I know the bear's dead. No nah. so threats, no threats out here. Let's take a quick peek. See if we can see him collapsed anywhere nearby in his normal his normal areas not seeing him there let's check over this way real quick yeah, let's get her some water okay 100% condition it's been a while just in case I run into the rogue wolf out here. A rogue wolf or something. 
Can't imagine that. I've never seen one up here, but if he's dropped anywhere around here. We might have to wait for the birds to come out. Start squawking over his carcass. Uh, come on. I'd like to see you right over here somewhere. Not too far from my hut. That would be kind and considerate. Okay. I don't think it's going to work out for us, guys. Oh. Jeez, that shadow freaked me out. I thought it was a bear. And then I was like, no, wait, but I killed the bear. And then I'm like, maybe it's this ghost. <laughs> the only thing worse than a bear in this game is the ghost bear. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing him anywhere super close, so... We might actually have to work for this harvest, but you know what? We've had some pretty good harvest locations over the last few kills, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. We'll make it work. We'll figure it out. Man. My eyes play tricks on me. That right there in the shadows I thought was a bear standing up. Goodness. Alright, let's get inside. So much for having 100% condition. It's nice while it lasted. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. As soon as the storm passes, we're going to go search for our bear carcass. Give us something to do while we're trying to get that well-fed bonus. Like, comment, subscribe, like I said. If you want to become a producer, make sure you head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurize2. And for as little as $1 a month, you can become a producer. And it really helps out a lot, honestly. It really does. Um, so, thank you guys for you guys that are producers. I do really appreciate it. For you guys that are just... Um, uh, viewers, I do appreciate that too. I appreciate everybody. So, thank you for supporting the channel. Um, it's come a long way in a few years, and uh, I look forward to a lot more adventures yet to come. So, I'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care.